today's video we are camping tarp only no sleeping gear uh, I just got set up underneath next to this big old rock I uh, got some company out the back there a few cows but um yeah this is it for tonight we're gonna probably not get much sleep but we'll try our only source of warmth really is the clothes on my back and this burner which I can use to heat water up and stuff it's autumn here in New Zealand and there's a massive rain event going on at the moment. New Zealand South Island got about 300 millimeters of rain over the past few days, and it's about to hit us tonight. So rain all night into tomorrow morning. Uh, so I'm glad I got set up now. The main thing is being a responsible camper and not shitting everywhere and fucking making a mess. So I'll come here, do this, leave, and you'll never even know I was here. So that's the main thing. At the end of the day, you know, you know these walking tracks and stuff are perfectly adequate. You just got to know where to look out of sight, out of mind, no one's even going to fucking know. I can't see anything now, it's just completely clouded over, and that means hopefully no one can see me. Rain with heavy falls, localised downpours at the headwaters, um, cloudy with periods of rain. Uh, this is today, and then still the freezing levels above 3,000. It's going to start raining, they reckon, about 9 o'clock through till uh, 9 a.m. tomorrow, so that's pretty much 12 hours. But it's not super heavy, it's just like 1 to 2 mils an hour. 17 kilometer an hour winds, so the low temperature tonight is 6 degrees. I mean, obviously, a sleeping bag's a good idea, and a thermal mat. So a thermal mat's actually more important than a, than a sleeping bag, I guess because you want to be insulated from the ground. So I'm just going to keep moving around, there's no option for me to really, I might be able to get a bit of sleep here and there, but potentially I'm just going to be sat up all night and just trying to keep warm, which is, is kind of the idea, I just wanted to have something a bit more simple, you know, just, it's all good having a tent and all the gear, which I do have everything you could possibly need for winter camping, but tonight I just wanted to come out, sit under a rock and under a tarp, real simple no mucking around and just enjoy it you know just enjoy being outside it is what it is and it's just nice to see the town down there right everyone all the lights and people driving around it's just incredible to like observe from a distance you know how people kind of operate it's quite nice it's quite fulfilling i think you know just to spend time with yourself and you know you've got to be comfortable with your own capabilities you know and it's always good to kind of challenge yourself as well. You don't just want to be mediocre. Real simple feed tonight, just a potato and bacon salad from the supermarket. Just gone eight o'clock. I thought I saw someone coming up the path, but um, I think it's just someone down in the valley. And not that it really matters too much um, because the weather is really turning now. It just started raining. There's a little bit of a breeze coming through here, but it's really not too bad. And I've just got the fire on real low. Uh, so hopefully we can just pump that all night. Uh, now with regards to the tarp, it is keeping a bit of wind out, but obviously this end is open and that end's open. So anything that's coming through here will definitely uh, be a bit chilly. But at the moment, still pretty comfortable. Um, just wearing my gloves now. Uh, I think this is definitely a critical piece of equipment. But yeah, it's, uh, it's just a little bit more difficult to uh, do things with gloves. But these are really good because they, you got, um, they've got like a touch screen sensor on that finger. That's really useful. Uh, actually, really good. I didn't think uh, they'd actually work, but they do. It costs like 30 bucks from Mitre 10. Yeah, it's a pretty cheap setup, really. I mean, I bought this tarp for 26 bucks from the warehouse. But yeah, other than that, the setup's pretty standard. But I mean, I do have entertainment here, and I've got a bit of warmth from the little fire, so I'm really happy. Feet might be getting a bit, little bit cold soon, but if they do, we'll just have to kind of warm them up as we go. And yeah, we'll just keep cracking on. So yeah, it's getting on for nine o'clock. So yeah, still comfortable. Feet are pretty warm, hands are warm. Uh, so just kind of maintaining that heat and keeping the water hot. The water's running down the rock here, so 
it will drip into this little, looks like a, where it's been dripping down into this cavern, but it's obviously greatly reduced because of the tarp over the top. So the tarp's just wrapped around the top there and tied off on the other side of this big rock. Uh, so it's preventing a lot of this moisture coming down. I mean, the rock's essentially dry mostly, but there's definitely water reaching down here. That is a source of heat. Bam. And that goes under here. Basically, we're just trying to keep warm. Obviously, I can't really lay down because the ground just sucks the heat out of me. So I've got to keep constantly boiling water to keep my body temperature up. Uh, so I can't move around too much. I'm just kind of under the small space. So yeah, another way is just to do some press-ups, I guess. But, but yeah, if you didn't have... Uh, a shelter from the rain, you would be really in a bad position right now. Because uh, if I was getting rained on, this that'd be it, I reckon. You'd have to find a natural shelter, like um, underneath a rock or, I mean, trees would be no good. There's not many trees around here, so you'd have to be underneath a rock bivy, and you'd pretty much just be hunkered down. You could probably survive a night, but fuck it, you'd be pretty miserable. I have my feet inside my pack with a hot water bottle in there. And then I got a hot water bottle right here as well. So I think the gas might be running out as well. So I guess we're just gonna try and sleep while there's still warmth in the water. And then obviously once that runs out, <laughs> I guess that's it. But um, we can always try, we'll try our best. And uh, the only thing I got as a pillow is this pot. But it's honestly better than nothing because you can actually support your head on it, you know? Did try and just sleep just then, but um, it's a little bit chilly, so I just readjusted some little things. So I'd say if you were to try this, that I reckon the bare minimum you would need, um, realistically, uh, let's say you haven't got a little heat or anything. So obviously ground insulation, so I would be a lot more comfortable right now with a thin foam mat, which I've got in the hut. and. Also, maybe an emergency blanket. Just something to keep the wind off. Lay on your side to stop losing as much heat out of your body, because if you lay on the ground with your back or your front, you're gonna lose more heat, so I have to lay on the side to, to not lose as much heat through the floor. Obviously, the idea is to come out and just see what you really need, and I'd say, as a bare minimum, you would want that, essentially, especially if you're just sleeping in a paddock. And shit everywhere. So yeah, I reckon an emergency blanket is fucking amazing. And they're so small, there's no reason why you would never not have one in your pack. But honestly, there's some places in New Zealand that you just can't, I just, there's not much stuff around here. It's like open land, grassland, kind of farm. There's, there's bloody cows and sheep around. And then it's all just like shrubs and branches and it's all wet, everything's wet. So if you if you arrive in a situation where everything's wet, it's gonna be quite difficult to kind of forage and get stuff, I guess. And dry it out, you know, and have fuel. I mean, a fire in here would be awesome. You could definitely do it, but um, if you had a fire in there, it would be absolutely epic, but they got fire restrictions in this area, so you're not allowed to do that. So I guess you just have a little twig fire or something, it'd be pretty cool. But yeah, I hope that helps. That's the kind of things I'm thinking about now as I'm trying to sleep. Is just like, yeah, a little thermal mat would be mint. A little blanket just to keep the wind off and then something to put your head on. That's basically it. The absolute bare minimum to be like semi-comfortable. Currently quarter to midnight. But yeah, I think it's getting to the point now where I've tried to sleep and it's not happening. It's just I'm, I'm a bit too cold to sleep. So I guess the moral of the story is I could sit here for another five hours until morning, or we can just say midnight, call it at midnight, and walk back down. So yeah, I guess the the point is, it's good to try these things, you know, just to see your limitations. So yeah, I recommend just a little bit more gear next time, but I think for now, I'm probably gonna kind of boot up and pack up this, this setup. 
Uh, it's been great though, like, I've really enjoyed like the past few hours just kind of reconnecting and just actually just enjoying not having too much gear but I think there is a point where you have to say okay we can sit here for another five hours pretending to sleep uh, but there's I don't think it's going to happen because it's just a bit too cold uh, with nothing, literally just trousers and a pack. So yeah I think I'm going to wait till this fuel runs out and then I'll pack up the tarp and we'll shoot back down to the car and actually get some sleep tonight because I've got a bit on tomorrow. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming along on this one. I, I thought it was really fun, eh? Um, it's just a little adventure, really, you know, just to get out. Camera. Oh, mate, holy fuck, look at it. It's fucking insane. I didn't realize how bad it was out here until you actually come out and you didn't realize. That's what we're under. Nothing. I mean, that was the location right there. Look. I've been thankful for this rock, though. Now, there was a little goat path here. 